Hello everyone and thank you for choosing to watch today's video. This is Alex and today we are going to have a review on this here laptop which is the Legion 5 from Lenovo. Greetings everyone and welcome to another Tech Fusion video. Today we are unboxing and reviewing this Lenovo Legion 5. This is a uh, 10500H i5 processor bundled up together with a GPU from uh, well NVIDIA. This is the 3050 4GB GDDR6 RAM. There we go and let's get started. A quick overview about the laptop over here. We have the Legion number um, right here. This is the model number 59MH6 as you can see the Phantom Black Edition. And the quick specs overview, the Intel i5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, bundled up with the RTX 3050, which is a 4 gigabytes uh, GDDR6 card. And the display, the panel itself is a full uh, HD uh, display that is rated all the way up to 120 Hertz. This being said, let's move on, unbox this bad boy right here and see exactly how it is and how it feels and what we are working with. So this is the fancy box from Lenovo, a little bit of paint, a little bit of color on it. I would say this probably costs with, uh, I don't know, an extra two, three dollars more than the IdeaPad. If you are uh, looking into a review about the IdeaPad 3, we have that as well on the channel right here. You can check the link up there in the right hand side uh, corner of your screen. So let's moving on with the unboxing here. Uh, okay, this is the laptop itself. Uh, I see they use that. Higher quality foam, the black one that's a bit more dense than the uh, other one, I should say. And what else we have in the box? Well, it seems that we have some literature. This must be the warranty and such. Yeah, Legion 5, whatever. Yeah, literature. Nobody has this time for this ever, never. All right, so let's moving on here. Let's move on. What we have? A standard brick. Yeah, you have your power supply right here for the for the laptop. Ah, there we go. Sorry about the rattling. So we have a 230 watts power supply right here. This is a 230 watts, if the camera can pick it up. Yep, there we go, 230 watts brick. It's uh, quite a beefy boy, but I would suspect that uh, this is actually quite required for the 95 watts of TDP that goes with the GPU. And uh, close to 100 watts of GPU, uh, of CPU of power, I should say, that is required by the laptop. And let's take it out of its protective shield, or I should say, pack it. So there we have the Legion 5 laptop. So let's open it up. Yay, you can open it up one-handed. This is actually so nice. And not many laptops can do this sometimes. Uh, let's try it again, just to see if it was a fluke. Ah, more or less it opens up. So that's why I was surprised. Right, moving on to the build quality of this laptop. Let's see exactly how it handles, how, it, uh, how it's built, and if we like the overall design of it. Right, so the first and immediate thing that jumps out to me with this laptop right here is its overall weight and sturdiness. It is actually very well built. I cannot flex this whatsoever. It is quite a rugged and well built laptop, I should say. Even though it's made out of plastic, both on the front and on the back, it's ABS plastic overall with this laptop. It actually feels quite sturdy in the hands and there's nothing, uh, well, indicating that it will break anytime soon. So that's very good. I definitely give it up to Lenovo for doing this and it's actually fairly nice to see in a uh, around $1,000 budget-ish for a laptop. Moving now to the front of the laptop right here, you have a small bezel or a more small chin, I should say, that you can grab on to open up the laptop and uh, that's nothing, nothing else going on for it. That's pretty standard in the industry and I pretty much like it and the way it feels when you grab this and open it up. Moving on to the I.O. on the right hand side here. First of all, you have your downwards firing speaker right here, as you can see. 
and you have a USB this is the 3.2 gen 1 USB right here alongside with an LED for power and a huge exhaust fan on the right hand side over here all right so this laptop right here is quite beefy in terms of the uh, thermal design so right up uh, you can see right up from the get-go the rear IO is flanked on the left and on the right by these two huge heat sinks that should let out a lot of hot air so it should have very good thermal design and uh, performance in games uh, and moving on we have the uh, well I should say starting off we have the RJ45 Ethernet connection right here right next to it you have the USB-C this is a 3.2 gen 1 USB-C that also um, supports data transfers of DisplayPort 1.2 and together we have the two USB 3.2 Gen 1 right here that are bundled up right next to the DisplayPort 2.0 right here and right next to that you have your power in so this is the proprietary power connector right here from Lenovo together with a K-Lock right next to it. This is pretty much it for the back I.O. of this laptop but we still have some I.O. on the other side of the laptop as you can see another vent right here for uh, the exhaust and another USB 3.2 Gen 1 that is right here that uh, also is right next to a headphone jack right to the side over here. This is pretty much it for the uh, rear I.O. or the I.O. in general of this laptop. So I should say right now we can uh, start it up, boot it up, install Windows on it, install some games and see exactly the performance of this laptop and see what we are working with. So a feature or I should say a lack of a feature with this laptop is that at first glance you can say wow that is a lot of cooling for it but if you actually pay closer attention to what's happening here you can definitely see if I could get the camera to focus you can definitely see right about here there is a fan here and the cutouts for the fans are actually just available for the fan itself while all the rest, all these little holes are actually plugged from the other side. There is nothing behind them but plastic. So don't expect any sort of pass through air to go through here because it's only available through uh, where the holes for the fans are. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a lot of cooling with this laptop, you'll definitely get some cooling, of course, with these two fans. Um, getting in some air from beneath the laptop and blowing it on the, the hot components inside and exhausting them uh, out on the sides here and on the other side as well but don't expect uh, that all this uh, will actually be functional because it is mostly aesthetic as you can see right here right so this is the display right here this is the uh, well full hd display from lenovo they actually feature the anti-glare technology on this uh, laptop right here and as well as the previous laptop that we tested right here that was the lenovo uh, gamepad 3 I'm not very happy with the panel from the get-go. I mean, I know the panel is switched off right now, but anyway, it goes up to 250 nits, which is definitely not as bright as you would need it to, especially if you are going to use this laptop outside in natural sunlight, or if you have any sort of uh, artificial light like we have over here, you can definitely see that on the screen. So uh, yeah, I'm not very happy with their anti-glare technology, so to say. All right, in terms of the keyboard and the layout of the keyboard, this is pretty standard for Lenovo right here. The keystrokes actually feel quite okay. They go quite deep and they don't, they don't feel in any way uh, shape or form. They don't feel hard on the fingertips. So you can definitely be typing on this laptop for a very long time without feeling any sort of strain on your hand. The palm rest also feels quite sturdy, quite good. And there seems to be very little flex if you push down on the laptop, but not very, very much. Uh, definitely a bit more on this side here than on this side over here and uh, well the trackpad feels solid uh, there isn't any flex or I should say there isn't much flex going on with the keyboard over here or the touchpad so that definitely feels good and in uh, other terms what you have different from other budget versions of this laptop is that you have here a function that uh, will actually allow you to actually run this laptop a bit uh, quieter or louder depending on the configuration or maybe if you have some sort of restriction for noise let's say you're probably trying to game in a room where somebody's sleeping and you don't want this to go full blast then you can definitely use this feature right here to actually make this laptop go a little bit cooler but of course uh, or I should say a little bit hotter but of course you're going to take away some of the performance that the GPU and the CPU can offer you. For those of you out there who are actually expecting this keyboard to have any sort of RGB on the back of them, 
Don't expect that, it doesn't have that. It's just a normal LED backlit keyboard on this laptop right here. It is not very bright and I have not seen any sort of way to actually be able to customize uh, how intensive the light on this backlight actually gets. But uh, definitely this is what you get. It should be more than enough in uh, dark spaces. But uh, yeah, no RGB or no custom uh, RGB. Right, another feature of this laptop right here, as you can see, you have on the screen your privacy screen. So you can toggle it on or off. And well, it definitely is a nice addition to any sort of laptop in this day and age. One definite nice thing that I immediately noticed with this laptop is the, because it doesn't have the majority of its I.O. on the side, like most of laptops do nowadays, and it actually focuses uh, with it being on the back, you can actually keep your desk quite clean because you don't have to keep that a nuisance power cable just taken out of your laptop. You can actually have it run all the way from the back of the laptop to the back of your desk right there. So this definitely should help with keeping things uh, nice and tidy on your desk. So yeah, that's another nice thing to have and uh, thank you Lenovo for providing this to us. When it comes to audio with this laptop right here, first of all, they are boosting with the fact that their audio is configured by Harman. But you have to keep in mind that the two downward firing speakers, one is located right here and one is located right here. They actually sound okay-ish, but it depends on who you are and how much of an audiophile you are. As you can see, these are the speakers right here. This is one of them and this is right uh, another one right here. So let's take a listen and see exactly how everything sounds on this laptop, but don't expect any wonders. It sounds okay, but it is not the best uh, that I've heard so far. So let's take a listen. Right, so this is what you can get out of the speakers in this laptop right here. It actually sounds decent, but it's nothing wow. So yeah, definitely this is something to keep in mind. I don't expect anyone buying a laptop in this day and age will ever be surprised by the quality of sound coming out of the laptop because the speakers are just very tiny ones. And of course you won't have any bass, very neglectable treble and uh, well, something on the highs, but most of the time it actually annoys the high being too high pitched or too tiny sounding. In terms of battery for this laptop right here, Lenovo packs in the lithium polymer 60 watts battery that actually supports Rapid Charge Pro. So that's Lenovo's way of telling you that it can actually charge, uh, well, 50% of the battery in 30 minutes time. And the runtime estimate by Lenovo is actually six hours on this battery right here. The battery is not hot swappable, so you don't have any sort of way to access the battery and uh, change it out like uh, most other uh, well outdated by now laptops had so it's definitely integrated within the system so if you want to hot swap your battery or swap your battery at a later time then you'll have to actually open up the laptop and remove it yourself so this is definitely a gaming oriented laptop so i am dying to see how battlefield 5 will actually run on this machine and i want to see how hot the cpu gets how loud the cpu the the overall laptop gets and what exactly uh, well fps we can get out of this uh, gaming machine right so let's get started so a quick gaming overview. Uh, we have been gaming for the past 20 minutes or so on this machine. I actually feel quite confident and I, I, I like the way that uh, the uh, thermal design uh, handles itself because uh, we are just hitting shy of 70 degrees on the CPU and uh, mostly the same on the GPU. And I actually feel quite uh, quite okay with these temperatures. This compared with the Lenovo Gaming Pad 3 that we have tested out just prior to this one, uh, it feels quite quite good. It feels more more responsive than the other one, and definitely the temperatures are more in check than uh, they were on that one. Um, you can see here in the top right corner a review about that laptop, and it's actually cooling. Uh, well, the cooling solution on that laptop was actually quite garbage. The CPU was hitting a constant 95 degrees C while gaming on it. So that was definitely not okay and seeing that this GPU and CPU are staying at around 70% with uh, some 70 to 80 uh, FPS that definitely gives me confidence to play on this machine for a long time and I should uh, definitely note that you won't be having any sort of issue on the hardware side of things if you decide to push this laptop quite hard for the next few years. In terms of the settings, yes let me kill this Nazi and I didn't, yay I did now. 
in terms of the options and the video display settings that we have set we have everything set on uh, 1080p running 120 hertz this is the refresh uh, rate of the panel right here and everything is set on we have the dx12 which is enabled the same for the nvidia dlss uh, we have the high dynamic range set on auto as well and basically we're running the auto max fidelity so this gives us medium on mostly all the settings except the uh, anti-aliasing which goes uh, all the way up to TAA high. So uh, this is uh, what you can get in terms of FPS for the game running this sort of settings on this machine. Uh, it feels nice, it feels responsive, it feels uh, quite smooth so I definitely like this about this laptop and we can definitely try and crank up the settings a bit more and see exactly how we uh, are experiencing or if we are experiencing any drops in FPS and any uh, more gains on the temperature side for the CPU and GPU. Right now we have everything set on ultra just for the fun of it to see how well this laptop handles itself and uh, mind you this is a very intense battle situation that we have going on here in this game right now and you can still see above 30 fps uh, results with uh, low 50s and the temperatures are quite in check as well so we see more or less the same temperatures running on the cpu and the gpu side of things so that makes me very very happy with the cooling solution that they went with for this laptop uh, I would not recommend running these settings though as uh, things don't seem to be running as smooth as before. You can definitely see some uh, jaggedness of the, of the refresh rate. Uh, something is definitely not really really happy. But uh, yeah, you could definitely do so if you're looking for that max fidelity and max uh, detailing of any sort of game. You can run it on this machine without any sort of problem. And uh, you can still have uh, more than 30 FPS while doing so. If we crank down the settings a little bit, uh, so let's go with uh, medium settings right now in, in, uh, instead of ultra, or I should say high settings instead of ultra, we should see a jump or a bump up in FPS. Oh, now it feels definitely much smoother than before. Uh, we're running just around 50 FPS. The temperatures definitely keep in check, so that's very happy. Uh, that's very nice to see. And the overall responsiveness of the game feels so much better it actually feels smooth it feels like 120 hertz uh, refresh rate right now while before it definitely didn't so yeah this is uh, the sort of performance you can expect out of a game like this this is definitely one of the intensive titles i should say uh, running this gpu this uh, four gigabyte gpu i'm surprised to see that it actually can offer us uh, quite a uh, quite a good performance uh, given the settings that we are throwing at it and the scenes and the game that we are throwing at it Right, so in terms of the noise from the fans on this machine, as you can see, of course, it's running quite hard to give us this performance level. So this is a test of the fan noise from this machine while playing on it. Right, so the conclusions to draw are your own, but I would definitely go ahead and uh, pull the trigger here and say that this laptop earns its place in a household in 2022 with all the features that it has. The one definitely downside that you have to consider, in my opinion anyway, is the screen. 250 nits is not definitely as bright as any laptop should be, and if you're planning to use this laptop outside, you're definitely going to encounter some issues with the screen. Other than this guys, thank you very much for choosing to watch this video, this was Alex from TechFusion, if you liked the video you know what to do, hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing to our channel here and see you around in the next 